Welcome to Dumb Guys. This is our new segment where we're going to talk about shopping online and specifically Amazon. It's yes. the new age of shopping and we're, we're going to show you and talk to you about all the benefits of Amazon, Amazon Prime, and then we're going to show you how to get Amazon Prime for free. Dumb Guys. The box stores are like become so 1990s and that, I remember that used to be the new thing, like everything one stop shop, go yeah. there. Now buy you don't need, bulk. Yeah, yeah, buy bulk. Now you don't even need to go there. The stuff's coming right to your door. Amazon's continuing to improve the technologies. You know, Amazon, along with other online shoppers, I think uh, Target and, and other places like that are starting to respond to Amazon's marketing. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically the way of the future. It is, yeah. it is. So stay ahead of the curve, follow us. Um, and we're gonna tell you how you can use the whole system of the Amazon Prime to save you a lot of money. Yeah. So you sign up, um, it's about $10 a month, and you have get free shipping once, and it pretty much pays for that. Yeah. Uh, and it's second day shipping, which is great. You know, I mean, I constantly order things on Saturday, and it's there Monday or Tuesday. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. And then you can also use the card and get 5% back on every purchase, and that really yeah. builds up fast. So, I, so basically, they have competitive pricing already, Yes. and if you use the Amazon credit card, you're getting 5% off yeah and like the last couple months i made some really basic purchases not huge quantities and i think the month before last i had 40 bucks on there and then last month i had 26 dollars on yeah. there so it does build up pretty quick when yeah. it's five percent right and i think that's the point here is that you're not going out and spending a lot of money on your credit card and buying you know frivolous mm -hmm. um things you're buying things that you need yes. um that results in basically a five percent discount yeah um and then just to add on to the free shipping yeah, Amazon Prime comes with free two-day shipping on pretty much all the basic items. There's a yeah. few items that aren't two-day. Um, but for the most part, you get the free two-day shipping. And uh, just to give you an example, the other day, um, I think it was a Saturday morning, I woke up, I came downstairs, I was going to watch some some Netflix or, or some Amazon streaming on um, my PlayStation 3, and I remembered, oh man, my, play, my I got three controllers and two of them are broken. Oh, yeah. And it was a perfect time. I jumped on my phone. I went on the Amazon shopping app and um, I was able to browse through all of the options for PS3 controllers and I found exactly what I was looking for. I wanted two new controllers to replace mm -hmm. my two broken ones and I wanted them to be different colors yeah. so that I could tell them apart. And so I was able to get a red one and a blue one. Um, I ordered them on Saturday morning. It took me about 10 minutes to flip through them and find them. It was 30 bucks for two PS3 controllers whereas normally one PS3 controller is like $45 yeah. at GameStop. Yeah. Um, speaking of GameStop, you would have had a sit in line. It oh, seems like yeah. there's already some, always somebody trading their games in ahead of you. Yeah. And that takes forever. And the line stacks up. You would have had to find a parking spot, mm -hmm. to pay some gas to get there. Yeah. It just, it's so much easier. Right. You know? Yeah. And I, and I ordered it on Saturday morning. I got it on Tuesday night. Yeah. So it was basically. You know, I'd been putting it off, putting it off, put it off. I, I, I sat there for 10 minutes, ordered it, boom, I had it. Yeah. Um, you know, my wife with her pregnancy has been having some problems with her wrists. I went in online, found the perfect uh, wrist braces that they didn't have at Target. Half the price of the other wrist braces that they ha did have at Target, but this one was the perfect one. Mm -hmm. um, an hour later, I got an email saying it shipped and on, on Saturday and is there Monday. Nice. Yeah. Right. So that's just an example of how it can help you out. Right. Um, and, you know... It looks like you you're talking about like toilet paper, paper towels, things like that. Yeah, just you the know, basic yeah. you know household needs. Yeah, right. Yeah, the the pantry is a great item for those types of things. And I have bought toilet paper, paper towels, and of course related to that is a maternity swimsuit. Yeah, yeah, right. Of course. Yeah. So I've bought all those things to where I'm wondering. We live in kind of a smaller town. Yeah. And I'm wondering like if I went out to the mall, if I'd even find like a maternity swimsuit that would fit, you know, and all those things. Well, my, not for me, for my wife. Yeah. Well, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point too, yeah. because uh, for instance, I, I was going to Costco and there's a particular type of gum that I like. Yeah. Uh, and I was, buy I've been buying it from Costco for years. Yeah. Costco stopped carrying it. Yeah. So now I order it from Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> and I never run out now. Yeah. Right. And you guys watch our Brazilian America uh, or the Brazilian cooking videos. A lot of those ingredients that we can't find at local stores, we've ordered from there. Yeah. In fact, our video, this is coming out Sunday, our video the day before on Saturday, we're going to have a link to the flour we bought mm -hmm. that um, you either need to find a Brazilian store, hope you have one in locally, or you can just order on Amazon. Here it yeah. came and I think it was a few bucks. Yeah. I think you got your cheese bread off got of Amazon. Got the cheese up, how to yeah. queijo. Yep. Got that. Um, <clears throat> several other ingredients, um, some Brazilian candy bars, the cachoquitos, mm -hmm. some... Uh, Things like that. We all order on Amazon. And, and, and that's the only the, other way we knew how to buy it was a uh, was a Brazilian store in San Francisco, which right. is six hours away. Yeah, right. And that's the great thing. There's the there's that convenience. 
to where anything you want, you're probably going to find it available on Amazon. Yeah. Um, the only reason to go to a store is if you need it immediately. Yeah, I mean, the only mm -hmm. like box store I would uh, maybe say a good word for is Costco. Yeah. I like using them. I like Costco too, and they ha it has its benefits, but there's also the downfall of all of the other things we talked about. You yeah. have to drive, you have to jump in your car, you have to go there, you have to battle the crowd, you have to find parking. You know, there are lines, there's always lines yeah. at Costco. There is. Um, you know, so it's a, it's, a, it's a big ordeal. Obviously, you're not going to get all your fresh and frozen foods from Amazon yeah. yet. No, yeah, there's Amazon Fresh already in some cities. Yeah, not not in not our ours, city, but yeah. once it's available here, we'll definitely be trying it. Yeah, we'll be trying to tell you how it works. Yeah. Um, okay, well, moving on to some of the other benefits, uh, one of my favorite parts of Amazon Prime is the streaming video. Yes. Um, and so I, I've, I've gone completely streaming in my household. We don't have cable. We've got um, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon streaming. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I'm on Amazon because yeah. there's a huge variety if, if it's not something that's available on Prime, which is the free service, um, which there's a lot of lot of titles on there, mm -hmm. TV and um, movies, uh, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. There's always something there for my kid to watch. Yeah. So I can always plug something in for her. Um, but if, if it's not there for free, I can either rent it for, you know, $2.99 yeah. or I can buy it. Um, that's where I watch all my Star Wars Rebels. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I have the, the entire... Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah, all the way up to uh, the last one that became available, and that was Doctor Strange. Yeah, I bought that one as well. Yeah, <clears throat> I need so to rewatch it. I fell asleep in the middle. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the great thing too. You just it's there. Yeah, you don't have to download it. I I tried uh, getting movies on the PlayStation. Yeah, and you have to download it, and yeah. it could take hours to download. So it's not instant gratification like on Amazon. On Amazon. I click a button, boom, yeah. it's there. It's on the, on the cloud. Anywhere I go, yeah. if I have a laptop or, or my phone, I can turn it on and I can watch it. Yeah, that's a lot of storage space if you download the movies yeah. too. Um, you know, I love the Amazon Prime as well. I just finished watching all six seasons of Game of Thrones on there. Yeah, right. Um, pretty good prices. I think it's like the first few seasons were like $14 and the other ones were like $28. Mm -hmm. um, the, I got Doctor Strange. I got Captain America Civil War. Um, I found a great Ryan Reynolds movie. I'm totally blanking on the name, but it's included with Prime yeah, for free. I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's about when he's a, a serial killer. Yeah, with the dog. Yeah, the yeah. dog. Yeah, that talks to him. <clears throat> so look for a Ryan Reynolds movie with the dog that talks to him. I can't remember <laughs> the name. But it's Amazon Prime free. Also, like, say Netflix, they're great. I think yeah, they're good. Their, their original series are amazing. Yes, absolutely. Um, but say, like, if you're thinking in the back of your head, like, I saw this movie 10 years ago and I'm curious to see it again. Mm -hmm. um, say, like, for your doesn't hold up or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. You go put in a name in Netflix, and it's hardly ever there. It's it's probably not going to be yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, they have just really random movies that they have on Netflix. Amazon has it all. Yeah. Um, and like Barry said, you can most of them you can rent for a dollar or two. Um, or if there are new releases, they're like four ninety nine sometimes to rent. Yeah. Or you can just buy them and have them forever. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, the way that I do it is if I'm gonna if it's a rewatchable movie, if it's something I'm gonna watch again, like yeah. a Marvel movie, I'm I'm gonna watch a Marvel movie again. I'm probably yeah. gonna watch them several times. Um, it basically pays for itself to, you know, you, you go, okay, I can rent it twice for four ninety five or whatever, yeah. or I can buy it once for, you know, $15 or whatever the new movies yeah. are. Um, and I think that's an HD. So, yeah. Yeah. And, um, another thing is like when we had that yard sale, we had a dumb guys yard sale mm -hmm. last summer, I pretty much concluded with how many DVDs and stuff I never watched and sold at yard sale. Why take up that much room in my house? Just stream Right, it, yeah. You know? I mean, sometimes it's fun to collect the DVDs, but yeah. really, I, I am beyond that as well. It's I'm just going to get it. I'm going to buy it on streaming, and I'm going to watch it whenever and wherever I am. Yeah, that's so. great. The only knock I have on the Amazon streaming is the app. I think the one that came on my Blu-ray player is very clunky, hard to find movies. I wish Amazon came out with like a cell phone remote control, something yeah. like that. You could just turn it on, take control of your uh, TV, yeah. and uh, work through the Amazon app. You just mentioned that, and I thought that that would be a great idea. Yeah, to just yeah. browse through your phone and go, boop, this is what I'm watching, yeah. boop, to your, to your TV. Yeah. Copyright dumb guys, Amazon, get a hold of us. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. We'll help you develop that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, streaming is great. Mm -hmm. Let's move on now to some, some of the other benefits. And, and this is just in general, really, for shopping online, and that's the, the kind of variety you can yeah. find. Oftentimes I go to the store and say, I need to buy some new clothes, right? And I've got the, the certain kind of pants that I like, a certain kind of shirt that I like. Um, I, I know what size I am. I know mm -hmm. what what uh, you know what type I want, what uh, what style. Um, and But I go to the store and I can't find the right size, I can't find the right color, yeah. or I can't find variety 
you can find that on Amazon. Yeah. It's really easy. You know, you can go to the store and all they got are white and black shirts, but I want some blue. I want yeah. some color. I want to mix it up a little bit. Amazon's got it. Same with the pants. Yeah. Same with the shoes. If you know what size you are and you know what style you want, it's really easy to get the variety you need without rushing off to a store and dealing with the mall and the traffic yeah. and all of those things that, you yeah. know, we and see, hate. We're in a small town and we have like one Kohl's. And so if all the guys from our office shop at that one Kohl's, we're all wearing we're the all same We're all wearing thing. the same shirt. Yeah, yes. we're all twins every day. So <laughs> we use online shopping to get that variety. Another thing is like, you know, my parents live in a little bit bigger city and I've been to even bigger cities. And the finding a parking spot at a mall is really stressful. Yeah. And on top of that, you're paying for it there. So add the, the price of parking on top of whatever you're buying, plus the stress, plus the, your time. The stress and the time. and Yeah. The, yeah. And, I mean, eventually you're going to get a parking lot ding on your car, you right. know? So if I lived in a big city as well as the small town that we live in, I'd want to use Amazon because yeah. I don't want to spend an hour driving to the store in bad traffic and then spend, you know, 20 minutes finding a parking spot to go figure out that the store sold out. Yeah, exactly. You know? Or it doesn't have your size or whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, in that situation, you drive all the way down to like the big city, like you said, San Francisco, Santa Rosa, which mm -hmm. is about five hours away from us, and you buy something and then you get home and it doesn't fit, you can't just ship it back. Yeah. And Amazon, the, the return policy is really good. It is good. So. Have you ever returned something? Mm -hmm. I, I did not until that long ago. I actually mm -hmm. bought a, a wedding ring. So I think it was this one. Oh. Um, so the first, I kind of tried to measure myself the, the size. Of course, I bought one way too big. Um, I tell Amazon, they say, print this out, take it to UPS, and it's a free shipping label. Yeah. And so I got to send it back for free. And as soon as UPS scanned it, the money went back on my credit card. That's a great deal. Yeah, yeah. it is. They don't even wait for it to get back. So No. It's, yeah. As soon as UPS scans <laughs> that label you print out, your money gets returned. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah. And so some of the other um, benefits, too, or, or some of the, the downfall of going out to the store and shopping is you buy too much. Yeah. I ran into that this weekend, actually. We went to, we needed to go to Costco, mm -hmm. right? And we needed to go, we stopped at Target. Yeah. And obviously I go to Target. The first thing I do is I go whoop, straight to the Star Wars figure aisle. Oh, how can you back up, pass I, up the Black I, Series? I can't, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't buy a Black Series, but I did buy um, a, a two set. It was a, a Star Wars Rebels with, um, um, What's his name? You know, horny guy with the horns. The horny um, guy, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking Kanan, um, and that's the only Rebels name I can think of right now. No, no. <laughs> um, Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so I bought a Darth Maul, and um, it was a two-pack, so there's another one in there I can't remember, but I had to buy it. Uh -huh. And so I bought that. We walked around the store, and I, I don't hit up the card aisle very often, but, well, I saw it there, and so there's baseball cards. Oh, yeah. I bought a couple packs of baseball cards. Garbage Pill Kids, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody from those the are 80s. Back. Yeah, oh, they've been back. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I bought a couple packs of those. Yeah. Um, and I bought a couple packs of Star Wars trading cards because I oh. saw them there. <laughs> and so I end up walking out with a stack of trading cards like this and a Star Wars figure. And yeah, they're going to look great uh, up on my shelf, but I didn't go there for them. So I ended up spending probably, what, 20 maybe even $30 yeah. more than I was anticipating and spending. Which, if I was shopping on Amazon for something I needed, I'd go on there, I'd find it, I'd click the button, boom, I'm done. Yeah, and stores arrange themselves in a particular way on purpose. Oh. It's to make, get you to make those impulse buys. They pulled me yeah, in. Yeah, the necessities are past the me. cool stuff. Yeah, you know? right. So it's like we got to walk past Star Wars to get the towels. Mm -hmm. So how it's easier to buy Star Wars and towels, and you just came for a towel. And, yeah, You know, that right. type of thing. Exactly. You know. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I do the same thing. you got to avoid those impulse buys. Um, you know, Amazon does do those suggestions, but I was just commenting to Barry, like, um, Amazon, you might step up your suggestions game because I mentioned that we bought a maternity swim uh -huh. suit. How many of those do you need? You need yeah. one. And now they're trying to now sell Now they're trying it. to sell me a whole bunch, yeah. saying related items, buy a whole bunch more maternity swimsuits. Right. Um, seems like they need to step up their game a little yeah. bit there with suggested searches. You know, once in a while it's beneficial. Like for instance, when I bought the lights for my studio here. Yeah. Then it started suggesting other things like the microphones and, yeah. and some things that other people bought with them. Um, and that's kind of helpful. You know, yeah. gives you ideas if you don't know what you want. Yeah, the all people who bought this also bought works pretty well. I think I, I bought an air purifier on Amazon a while back. And it did do the people who bought this also bought the refill. Yeah, you right. Know, the replacement filter. Mm -hmm. So that is helpful. Yeah. So from time to time. But uh, another creepy thing they do that creeps a lot of people out is you go to other websites and it advertises for whatever you just looked at on Amazon. Yeah. Um, 
So but clear, I mean, that's clear your cookies. Clear your cookies. <laughs> but I mean, that's the thing. In the future, I don't know if you realize anything you put on a credit card is basically public knowledge after a while. Right. I mean, so many people know what you purchased every yeah. time on a credit card. You sign up for Target. You get their card. Um, an ad will come to your house directed towards you for you know what you bought on that card. I think there's a story in the news a while back to where um, a father had like a 17-year-old daughter and Target started sending her advertisements for like maternity things. Right. And he got all mad, went yeah. to the store... Realize his daughter's actually pregnant, and Target knew from her purchasing habits right. before her dad did. And that you know that is that is one of the things that they're going to have to figure out with this this new age of shopping, which yeah. is going to be online. It's going to be electronic. There, you know, the internet is tracking you, your search history, Facebook, you know, any of those, Twitter, if you're on that, yeah, Amazon, they're all tracking what you're doing because it's all about that advertising. Uh, but the good thing is, is that it's right there in front of you now. It's yeah. it's easy. It's convenient. Um, you can get right to what you need um, and when you need it. Yeah, and I think one thing is like you might not realize how much the box stores are doing that as well. Right. So people get paranoid about Amazon and you're shopping and uh, they're watching you type of thing, but mm -hmm. the box stores. Well, do it all too. stores do it. I mean, yeah. all this is is it's bringing it to the next level mm -hmm. because all of the box stores, all of the you know department stores, they all did marketing to a certain extent and yeah. tracking their demographics. But now it's just larger because yeah. it's worldwide. You're not just, you know, following the purchasing habits of people in your area. You're yeah. you're following the purchasing habits of people in your country or your yeah. uh, of the whole world, basically. Yeah. And I think Amazon has some exciting technology on the way. Exciting and creepy and I don't know what to think sometimes. Yeah, right. Skynet. I mean, Skynet. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I guess they have a patent for blimps to fly over your city and lower the product you ordered in a drone. Like drones? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine that and how many of them will get shot down and all that <laughs> stuff and... You know, but how cool would it be to have a, you know, bing bong, doorbell, open the door, there's a drone there with your package. Yeah. Right? Especially if it's like, you know, if they get to the point where, boop, I just ordered it, ding dong, there it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the drone is there. Yeah. Because all the, the blimp is above you. Yeah. <laughs> it would be cool to have the Amazon fresh and not have to do those you know, late night run to the store for a gallon of milk type things. Right. You know, yeah. that would be crazy to have that delivered to your door. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah. It would be cool. I mean, there used to be milkmen back in the day, but... Yeah. Um, Maybe they'll come back. Yeah, with, I mean, with, but there will be robots. Let's face it, we don't we don't want to leave the house. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, we have too many YouTube videos to watch. Exactly, <laughs> and to make and to make yes. <laughs> so, and you have all our YouTube videos to watch. Right. So you don't want to leave the house either. Just order on Amazon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're gonna have lots of uh, links in the yes. description, um, and this does help the dumb guys out when you purchase these things. Um, these are affiliate links. Um, we shopped on Amazon all the time, and we wanted to become affiliates for Amazon. Right. And we asked them a couple times, got declined once, then got approved. So um, it's not like they came to us saying, talk about Amazon. We tried this, and we want to spread this on to right. you. Right. Well, th this is basically the lifestyle that we've taken on. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, my wife has been ordering on Amazon for years and uh, luckily I got a hold of her Prime account and uh, and her credit card information that's in there. <laughs> and so I can order on Prime all I want and uh -huh. I just, I realized how convenient it is. Um, and it's not that I'm over shopping, it's just I'm like buying the things I need yeah. that, um, and I don't have to leave the house to do it. Yeah. Um, free shipping, yeah. um, two day, it's you know quick, it's yeah. easy, absolutely. And like you said, it, it helps the dumb guys out. You it know? does. Um, we don't make, we make barely anything on YouTube videos, but this is a, you know, an extra level for us to kind of make some extra money for the equipment we buy yeah. to put on these shows, um, and all of those things. So, yeah. And you know, another thing is like you shop, um, at home. We really enjoyed this. I mean, the last couple of weeks I've ordered toilet paper on Amazon yeah. because I hated those run to target because we're out of toilet paper. Throw a couple things in so it doesn't look like you're just buying toilet paper. You know, whatever people are thinking in line with yeah, you. Yeah, right. That you don't, you wouldn't buy otherwise. You know. <laughs> yes. Um, and so, like the last couple orders were had toilet paper and paper towels in there. Yeah. You know. Right. And so it's it's just it works great. I think as, as your family grows and my family's growing and all that, that um, you'll find ways to save money on there. Yeah. You know? Save money, save convenience. Um, I mean, you know you're going to need toilet paper, so you know you might as well just have it delivered to you. We know we need dog food and cat food, so we just have it delivered to us. We don't have to go out and get it. It's just every couple of weeks we know that the dog is going to need more food, so we order it. Yeah. It, come, it comes in the mail, and we're, we're stocked up. We're ready to go. Nice. Yeah, so uh, yeah, definitely check out the links in the um, description below. We're going to have the link to the free 30-day Prime trial, so you can give it a try. You can take advantage of the two-day shipping see if you like it 
Um, and if you do, you can stick with it uh, for the monthly. What is it? Ten? You said ten ninety nine a month. I believe so I it's ten ninety nine a month. It might yeah. depend on when you sign up. Uh, yeah, I think they've got a three. They've got a three month op- option, and they got a year option. Yeah. So you, you know, you've got you've got options there. But you can give it a try and see if you like it. Take advantage of the streaming. Mm-hmm. Get your free your, the free Prime movies that are on there and TV yeah. shows, um, and all of the other benefits and. Um, you know, see if you like it, basically. Yeah, don't let the box stores take advantage of you anymore. The yeah, Waltons exactly. that own the Walmart chain have enough money. Right, yes. Yeah. Now you got to help the dumb guys out. No, help right? the dumb guys out. All right, so um, always read the descriptions of our videos. There's, there's lots of good stuff down there, yeah. you know, affiliate links, links to our Twitter or Instagram. Yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, and, and links to subscribe to the channel, of course, because yeah. you want to do that so you can keep up with us. And, and this is going to be a regular segment we do. Yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're going to focus on um, maybe a, a, a different benefit that we found either shopping online or th- or on Amazon or something that we found that that we like to do regularly yeah. that we think maybe will you'll like it as well um, that you know in moving to this new lifestyle of shopping online instead of you know the old days where you jump in your car and you drive down to the store yeah and I think um, in the future probably one of us will try with those buttons absolutely we've been talking about that forever just haven't done it yet <laughs> well I, I had the dream of, of like revamping my whole pantry with those yeah. buttons so i just walk in there and go oh i'm out of this and, boop, just, yeah. and then all of a sudden i'm going to get an order of it in the mail and i'll just yeah. be stocked up yeah and we'll also talk about other sources um for example amazon doesn't have a complete list of softball bats and i play softball they have a few but um there's other places to buy things like that yeah so we'll talk about other online shopping resources maybe we'll have a costco episode one of these days yeah um because I, I do like costco yeah i mean, I mean we, we both ran into each other buying tar uh, tires there that's right one saturday yeah <laughs> and so it's a great place for tires you know things like that so we'll just keep talking about the modern shopping experience don't fall back and don't be stuck in those you know, those box stores that are falling apart right, right. you don't yeah. become a picture on the people of walmart yeah. you know instagram <laughs> right. things yes um and there's a re- there's a reason why a lot of those you know chain stores have been closing down um, over the past say ten or fifteen years. You know it's because less people are shopping in the store. Mm-hmm. More things are moving to online shopping. It's yeah. cheaper for them. Um, they don't have to maintain the retail locations. Um, so you get a discount. Yeah, and I'd, I'd say value your time. Yeah, uh, really. Right. Like don't just throw away like the time it takes you to drive somewhere and do something else. You could you know. Be doing something else, like playing basketball with your kids or, you know, whatever it might be, rather than yelling at somebody in traffic. Yeah, know? right. <laughs> you know. We do a lot of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, don't forget to put your comments down below. Uh, we want to hear your suggestions on perhaps something that you're doing, your shop, where you're shopping online, mm-hmm. um, or some kind of convenience that you have um, discovered that maybe we haven't yet. Um, and maybe we'll do a video on that, too. Yeah, we do do videos on su- suggestions. Um, so we got fantasy baseball coming, Brazilian food. Um, more does it hold up? More does it uh, hold up? Old, old retro movie reviews. Yeah, and your food series. Ah, uh, yeah, Singapore food. Singapore food. Yes, I, I've got the uh, recipe all picked out for the next episode. All right, stay tuned. Stay tuned and stay dumb. Stay dumb.